Kyriakos Mitsotakis emerged from the presidential office surrounded by his three children, having just been sworn in as prime minister. His administration, he says, will be dedicated to their generation. He wants to rebuild Greek society as a meritocracy, where hard work and justice will bring opportunities for all. That, he says, is the only way to stop the brain drain which has cost Greece as many as 100,000 young people each year in recent years. The Greek people yesterday gave us a powerful mandate to change Greece. We shall honor that mandate to the full. Today the hard work begins and I have complete faith in our abilities to do what needs to be done. To honor that mandate, Mitsotakis has promised a series of reforms that will attract investment, boost growth and create jobs. Kyriakos Mitsotakis' premiership begins now. This administration plans to move fast for immediate consideration, tax cuts, getting tough on crime and controversially allowing police back on university campuses. Police were banned from campuses half a century ago after they forced their way onto the Athens Polytechnic to quell a student sit-in. Syriza leader Alexis Tsipras says he will now focus on molding his party into a center-left progressive alliance. Neither leader will have much of a honeymoon. Instead of allowing parliament to go on a summer break, Mitsotakis plans to start a new plenary session next week and table his first bills soon after. Ultimately, Mitsotakis says he will have to approach Greece's European creditors to persuade them to lower Greece's debt repayments. He believes the bailout terms are stifling growth. But the last four Greek prime ministers have asked for better terms and didn't always get them. Mitsotakis will concentrate on making sure that he meets the targets, uh, primarily by cutting spending. And if he does so, then he will have some goodwill in the future to open this discussion with the creditors. But I don't think he will risk uh, opening a round of negotiations that will resonate negatively in, in the markets. Greece has stabilized after losing a quarter of its economy to recession, but it has not yet turned into a success story. Its growth is the lowest among bailout countries in the Eurozone. That is why nearly 40% of Greeks elected Mitsotakis. But economic reforms often take time to show results, and Greeks are impatient to improve their lives. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.